I support QPR. But my friends support other teams. It's us versus them. Hello my fellow Rs and welcome back to a brand new series with me, P Block Scuds. Now through this series I've gathered up a load of my friends who support other teams and I'm going to quiz them on their knowledge of the stats and facts between QPR and their chosen team. It's pretty simple, there's eight questions for them to answer with three bonus points up for grabs but the bonus points won't be easy to get. And at the end of the series we will crown our rival champion with a signed photo of none other than P Block Scuds. So on today's friendly rivalry, I've got my best mate uh, for God knows how many years now. Uh, my best mate, Sam. Uh, Sam, how you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad, mate. You all right? Not too bad, not too bad. How you uh, holding up throughout this uh, lockdown? Yeah, not too bad. I've got things to keep myself preoccupied with and doing stuff out in the garden and all that. So, you know, doing as well as I can. Yeah, and I can see that the, uh, the beard has come on uh, leaps and bounds. Yeah, it's looking quite beautiful at the moment, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. Quite so, so for those of you that don't uh, don't know um, Sam, um, basically, uh, so we've been best mates for many many years, and back in the day, we actually used to look like each other. There was no facial hair. We had this place, <laughs> the same haircut. People used to think we were twins, and as you can see now, couldn't be any further from it. But hey, hey. Nah, nah. <laughs> as well as the checkered shirts as well. The checkered shirts. Yeah, and the checkered shirts. Can't forget the checkered shirts. <laughs> So Sam, you're a Newcastle supporter. Um, how how did that come about? Well, basically, I've supported Newcastle since I was a kid. I've got family up there um, on my dad's side, and uh, I basically made the decision when I was a kid to follow Newcastle. I could have gone the other way because, funny enough, my dad was a West Ham fan, which was a bit bizarre. But I, um, because he didn't really take me to any of the games or anything, I went the other side and went to my family side and uh, went Newcastle. I supported him ever since through the. Uh, Good times and the uh, many, many, many bad times. <laughs> yeah, I, I do love that, mate. It's very, it's a very unique uh, team for obviously where we live, and obviously, maybe a QPR fan is, is very unique. So, um, yeah, it's uh, no, at least it's uh, it's somewhere in the family, and it's not, uh, you know, uh, not a plastic fan. I know that much. So, uh, but anyway, right. So, Sam, uh, this friendly rivalry is a quiz of eight questions, and in amongst these questions, there are bonus points up for grabs. So, are you ready to take on the friendly rivalry quiz? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, that's 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 what I like determination. <laughs> okay, so let's let's fire away and get on with the questions. So, uh, question one. Uh, this is about uh, more recent history between between the two clubs. Um, so, when was the last time QPR and Newcastle played each other? And I'm happy for you just to give me a year. Oh. I think it was, it would have been well during the last in the championship. I think it was the 2016-2017 season. Bang on, spot on, well done. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a championship game on the 1st of February 2017. Now, for a bonus point, okay. what, was, what was the final score in that game? Uh, I think we lost 2-1. No, unfortunately I can't give you that bonus point because we drew 2-0. Uh, oh. it, it was at St James's Park. Um, John Joe Shelby scored in the very first minute. Uh, mm. Then it was uh, Connor Washington scored for us in the 44th minute. Uh, before Matt Ritchie scored in the 54th minute and then right at the death in the 90th minute there was a spectacular own goal by Kieran Clark. I don't know if you remember do you remember <laughs> that one it went right over the keeper into the back of the net yeah I think I do now actually thinking about I, it I, I think I've rubbed that one in quite a lot actually but yeah so um, yeah well you got one point out of the two there so that's all right uh, following on well, uh, keeping with this same game Question number two, to the nearest thousand, what was the attendance at that game? Mm. Let me think, let me think. 
Well, when I remember it, it was at St James's Park. So yeah, that's I think the attendance at St James's Park is probably going to be around one. I would say. So the nearest thousand, you said. Say forty-eight. I'll accept that. I will accept that because it was in fact forty-seven thousand nine hundred and seven. That's yeah. That that's is it. it. I'm. I'm that's I was spectacular. That was, that was a wild pun. That was a wild pun. I had a bloody good one <laughs> at that, mate. A bloody good one. Okay, so moving on. Uh, question three. Having played each other a total of 50 times, who has won more games? Oh, one of those trick questions. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say us. And you are correct. It's Newcastle. <laughs> <coughs> Newcastle have won a total of 24 games. Uh, QPR have won 17, and the rest, which is nine, were draws. Oh, not a massive, yeah, not a massive difference in this one. No, I, I was quite surprised actually. It was a lot closer. Hmm. Okay, so question four: What was Newcastle's biggest ever win over QPR? And I just need a scoreline. Right. I've got one come to mind. I can't. I don't know if it is the really the answer, but I've got one come to mind because I remember messaging you through the game, and you was just a scoreline, Sam. Just a scoreline. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I want to embarrass you a bit. Is that disgusting? I we, think, is it when we smashed you six nil off the road? Yeah, it was. It was six. Is that the highest one? <coughs> the highest or not? That was the highest one indeed. Yeah. Get in there. But for a bonus point, what season was this in? Uh, I'm going to say 2016, 2017 season. He's got the bonus point. Yeah, Get in him. there. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was that bloody awful night in. Uh, uh, what was it? 13th <laughs> September of 2016. Where? September. Yeah, where we got really done over by you boys and yeah you didn't let me forget about that no no i was messaging through the game and you were that disgusted that you didn't hang around for the second half yeah i can see this video going from friendly rivalry to uh <laughs> nasty <rivalry. laughs> oh, normal, oh, normal, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay right now we've got that over and done with what was newcastle's biggest loss against qpr oh blimmin hell just a scoreline just a scoreline. Right, there's one game I remember in particular because I'm going to say 4-0. Mm -hmm. Correct, it was 4-0. Oh, it was. Um, for a bonus point, what season was this in? Uh, right, it's either going to be a trick question or... Uh, it's, I just need a season. There's no uh, Two thousand and fifteen. Oh. oh my! No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, it was nineteen eighty one, nineteen eighty two season. Oh, yeah. it, it was, it was at, at St James's Park in the old in the old Division Two on the fifth of May, nineteen eighty two. Oh, it's more recent than that. Oh, fair enough. But you got one one out of the two then, so that's not bad. So uh, yeah, okay. Moving on to the next question, number six. Which team has won more trophies? I'm gonna say us. And you are correct. I'm going by old ones. Yeah, right. on right. yeah uh, <laughs> in fact, yeah, Newcastle have uh, won 16 major trophies and QPR have won five. Newcastle's include uh, having won the first old division, or the old first division, sorry, four times, uh, the old second division twice, the championship twice, FA Cup six times, Charity Shield once and the Intertoto Cup once. So that's. Yeah, yeah I remember the Intertoto Cup, but uh, yeah, that's going back. Yeah, back that is back in the day, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't realise actually that Newcastle won the FA Cup six times. So uh, very impressive. No, I, I, I didn't realise until um, obviously it was going, I was, that's going back in the day, but uh, it was actually a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so moving on. Uh, question number seven. That's more of a geography type of question. <laughs> How many miles are there between St James's Park and Loftus Road? And I'm stuck in geography. I will give you. I will. I will go to either side of the actual number. So how many miles, yeah? How many miles between the two stadiums? I've now got a foggiest. Um, about 250. You're in the right hundreds, but you know it, you're not right no, between 50. So, uh, in fact, no. you're in 277 miles between ah. the, two, the two grounds. So, yeah. Uh, Fair it, enough. Felt, it felt like a lot longer when we went up there. Uh, the other year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a whole different story, guys. Um, okay, so moving on to the final question, and it this regards double duties. So, from the following stats, who is this player that has played for both clubs? So, he's played for QPR 126 times, scoring six goals between 1990 and 1994, and he's played for Newcastle 133 times, scoring two goals. Between 1994 and 1998, who is the player? Two goals. And, right, so he obviously can't be a striker. I wouldn't have thought so anyway with that record. And what, what, where did you say he played for Newcastle in the 90s? Yeah, between 94 and 98. <laughs> I've got someone in mind. Yeah. He's a defender. Darren Peacock, is it? Spot on. Yep, it was in fact Darren Peacock. Uh, I have not got any facts handy for Darren Peacock on this occasion. Uh, but yeah, uh, he actually he transferred from us to you. Um, so sadly, I never got to see him play for us. Um, but yeah, nice, nice little, nice little player. Did well for both of us. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, it was a good player. Actually, it was a decent player. Yeah. So, uh, is that all the uh, is that all the questions? That is all the questions, and I can tell what you, sir, your total score is eight. I, I think that's a oh, very yeah, well, that's impressive. Out of a possible eleven points, that is very very impressive. So yeah, well done. Well, how did you uh, how did you find the quiz? Well, not not too bad. I mean, that's the thing. When you get asked say questions about Newcastle and QBR, that can literally be anything and everything. <laughs> I could have be anything you could think of. I, I could have been really nasty with some of the questions, but um, no, I, I'm, I'm a fair, fair, uh, you know. I must have one, one that I, um, the one that I did think of that I'm surprised you didn't mention, because you're such a fan of him. I suppose it would have been obvious. Would have been uh, to Les Ferdinand. Yeah, that was way too obvious. Yeah, well, it might have been too obvious. This is you. Like, well, this is you. I'm not. I wasn't going to make it that <laughs> obvious, was I? So, uh, no, that's true. That's fine. Right, no, so. Uh, no, um, well done, Sam. And uh, that all that leaves me to say is uh, thank you for, for playing Friendly Rivalry. And uh, I would like to wish Newcastle United the best of luck for when football eventually comes back, uh, if not for the next season that they do play. Thank you very much and thank you for having me on. Brilliant. Well, take care and uh, I'll see you soon. See you later, mate. Take care. So Sam is the second person to get those eight points, but as he only needed one bonus point, he goes top knocking Joe off that top spot. But how long will Sam's luck last? We'll find out in the next episode of Friendly Rivalry. And don't forget guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Other than that, as always, come on you ours.